and similarly, um, uh, discarding Sabo anti-tank rounds um, don't care about the angle of the armor. Yeah. Um, the the Brits, uh, uh, they, but because they of their very sharp slope, it increased the armor thickness, uh, the effective armor thickness on any shots coming in uh, from the flat mm. uh, on the front of the tank. Hugely. But, uh, it went from like two and a half inches to mm. uh, 15 inches of armor across that slope. It did, but this is again where, where the world was changing as they were designing it. And Remember, th this is the 60s. Yeah, no, but this, not, not, this, not... this has happened to everyone. And, you know, we Alan's men mentioned Arjun, but, you know, we, we when we talked about Arjun, it was a classic case of... It it was just the design period was so long that the world had changed from when they started designing mm. the tank to the end. And similarly, um, uh, discarding Sabo anti-tank rounds um, don't care about the angle of the armour. Yeah, they they, do, they and, don't deflate. They come in so fast, they and, just dig and, in. And anti-tank missiles were, uh, again, still not quite there yet. Yeah, um, although they were going to be there mm. quite soon after it ended service. Which but is because of the, uh, the secrecy of uh, this highly sloped uh, front glasses... Mm -hmm. Uh, they actually built a nice wooden box to go around uh, the front of the tank uh, to cover it up so that nobody would be able to see how angled mm. it is as they were driving.